Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough. And uh, we just got to keep in mind what we learned last time. That apparently Remastered <laughs> has a funky little glitch that keeps the uh, diddly D synchronization music. So whenever we enter a new area with new synchronization towers... Wow, that's actually a fast load-in time. They just suddenly were there. But yeah, every single time we enter into a place with new synchronization points, we have to go and just beeline towards them all. Well, I guess I'll go grab that almanac since we're in the area and hope that it doesn't disappear. I just need to remember the oddities. That combat is more of a combo system. Everything. Interesting that we've ducked there. What, what, what do you mean? I didn't do anything! Hello? Was there a dead body that I missed? Uh... That guy was weak. But at least I'm getting the combat down, okay. <laughs> was this just a random ambush? Uh, cause... <laughs> Why did they attack me? What did I do? What did I do to you? I mean recently. We'll steal your money. And whatever else you have on you. I just wanted to get to an almanac. Did they know I was going for the almanac? Is that it? It is a bit, uh... Pseudo-choppy on my end a bit. Might have to... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, since it seems to be a constant thing. A bit of jitter. Let's find something to turn down. Not resolution. Resolution is good. We'll turn down environmental quality. Because I think that's the only thing that's tiered. And we'll see if that... Don't think that's helping the jitters at all. Maybe, maybe not. I swear there's like a, a weird constant chiming and it's annoying me. Like in the game. Just like ding, ding. And uh, this guy's having a freak out. He's doing a dance. He's just doing a... He's doing the square dance. Well, like a triangle dance. He's just going around in circles. For no reason. What's wrong with you? Die. For being a square dancer. And wearing a stupid hat. Guard dogs? There are guard dogs? I'm gonna have to kill dogs, you bastards? Where are the guard dogs? Guard dogs where? Why did that pop up? <laughs> why did that- Why is it just random- just like, oh, by the way, there's guard dogs. I'm just like, and this pertains to me now, why? Utterly freaky. Hmm. Maybe jitteriness is becoming because of V-Sync? Maybe. I think this says V-Sync. V-Sync, let's turn you off. And nope, I automatically think I see screen tearing. Or it could be placebo. Hmm. Huh. V-Sync. 
What even is it? The V-Sync is here to eat our souls. <laughs> I'm just messing with the like uh, settings because I feel like there's a bit of jitter on my end. I'm not sure if it's like real or not. I don't know if it's just my brain hitching or if it's the game. So I was messing with things. But the the AI is acting weird. Oh hey, it's that almanac that got me in with the the police last time. Here, almanac page. Uh, at least I got it that time. Huzzah. Hmm. But... Why is there a custom marker there? I didn't set a custom marker. <laughs> Did the game set its own custom marker? Well, okay, game. Let's go to the custom marker the game set. Why don't we? Out of the way, child. Oh, hey, my health just regrew. Huh. Interesting. But if the perceived jitter continues, I might alter my settings a bit more. But, hey, let's go to the custom mark of the game set. Well, after we uh, bamboozle this here courier man. I'm here to rob you. I'm here to rob you. Do not resist. I don't even know why he's marked, at least last time in the previous games, it's like, ah, it's a Borgia dude delivering things, so there was, like, no guilt. It's weird, because there was no perceived jitter on my end last time. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe the game's code is unraveling. It heard my slight criticisms and has decided to mount an offensive against me. But again, I did not set this custom marker. I set one on that, uh... At least I don't think I did, but... For amusement's sake, why not just go out here to the field? And here's the custom marker. A field out in the middle of... Not really nowhere, there are buildings. But yeah, why was that custom marker there? Did I accidentally press... The button to activate it. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Hmm. Let us go and start the mission. Whatever it will be. Now that we, now that I have been informed of the most hilarious glitch where the synchronization music haunts you forever if you do any kind of synchronization. Unless you do like specific things. Hmm. We're just trying to eyeball it. It's almost like the... I don't know. It's the phantom jitter. I don't know if it exists or not. Is it my brain? Or what? It seems like I stop, nothing happens. I start moving in any shape, way, or form. It's like, aha! Get stabbed, idiot! Such is the way of life, I suppose. If it persists through the mission, I might restart the game and see how about that. Who knows? But, let us see. There's a gamble man. I don't care about gambling. It's just a means to get more money, and I don't care. If I may... What do you have to say, Mr. Man? With Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. I considered him a close friend. I'm noticing vague language throughout all this. The Order. Us. <laughs> but everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French. Not the French. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, 
a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest, even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Yeesh, real Anakin up in there. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. Magical lip syncing there. I don't expect it to be perfect, it just seems so weird. They died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. Maybe, eventually. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know. I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought this up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. I feel like there are going to be many secrets between us. Infiltrating Southgate. Gentlemen, I believe I found a solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Such Hall, interesting insults these British people have. Decide we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. What kind of convoy? We don't. We know you don't have cars back in this world. The Boston Country Journal. The worms for a penny. We're up here on a roof. How'd you get up here? You don't seem to have the. the convoy should be here soon. We'll like, on my signal. what's the word? Constitution for it. If we time this right. Can catch them all unawares. In the middle of town. For the sturdiest and most seamless battle in America, call upon John <laughs> And nobody cares about these three guys just flipping a cart in the middle of town. Well, I guess they're like, oh, they're just inspecting it. And NPCs got in front of the camera. Wonder if I could shoot the driver. It doesn't seem so. Time to jump. Get double assassinated, fools. I'm so used to the original, I tried to do the original counter. I tried to do old counter. <laughs> My brain just so locked onto it. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. And she just doesn't say anything. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. And here we have the aspiring white savior. How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses. He's just running ahead, I guess. 
Haven't seen, uh... I forgot we had so many people on our team now. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Officers are highly skilled enemies. He was invested in investigation tactics and they just ran away. So basically they won't be easily as fooled. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Well, I mean, she's like, let's set me free. And you're like, no. While you have good reason for it to save more people, you're still putting her at risk. <laughs> Truck Simulator 1776. Uh, that would actually be kind of funny, like Euro Truck Simulator, but <laughs> for like the gold rush. Uh, uh. Engage the enemy! Engage the enemy! <laughs> you said that's so funny. So I can order my people to attack. I wonder if... Ooh, that makes me wonder. Am I going to have another brotherhood in this game like uh, in Brotherhood and Revelations? Uh... Because it just had that, like, button on there for eternity, so I didn't know what it wanted from me for a moment. But, damn it, you had to kill the dog. He's like, no, like... On your guard, men. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. How is that not being discovered? Oh, so when my allies are on the verge of being discovered and they kill everybody, it's fine. But when I do it, the game is like, oh no, you failed. And once again, we traumatized a child by killing a bunch of people in front of him. Is that just going to be a thing with Atham? Also, I'm not sure if it's just because we're in the car, but it does feel like the jittering has uh, not... Uh, returned. It seems to have gone away. Maybe you just need a cutscene for the tutors to go away. It's a man in a dumb hat. Oh. Evening, gentlemen. Stay your business. Slavery. For Silas. Go on. Luckily, you're dumb, and your outfit is like completely loose. Well, he is British. Just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. She just runs as off. Go, <laughs> we should give Fair enough. Break. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? Kill him. He dies. I thought he was gonna... To find and kill the general. Perform stealth assassination from a corner spot from a corner spot. Well, I need to find a corner spot to kill people from. And then maybe whistle. Hope they're not killing everybody while I'm away. I wonder what counts as a corner spot, though. Oh, is that the general? Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about these bonus objectives. Bonus objectives that are like, uh... Like, it could... Okay, that's... Guess that works. Okay. Come on, lock onto him. 
I miss my the old lock on capabilities. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Because I was trying to lock onto that guy, and I was locked onto him for eternity, but the game, I guess, whistled at another man. Which is dumb. He was off screen! How did I whistle to him? How did I whistle to a man that I could not even see on my screen? What even? Where did it even come from? Again, I wasn't locked on to that one. At least it has a generous, like, range. Okay, but listen, game, I want to whistle to him and him alone, not a random guy from across the sky. And he came too! Why? <laughs> who is this man who comes through the bushes? Is the whistle... No, the whistle can't be a, like, uh, radius thing. Because if it was a radius thing, the first whistle would bring the other guard that is by the tent that I killed the first guy by. What the hell, game? Are you high? What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's a bushman. He's from Australia. He escaped the prison. This is like... <laughs> slightly amuses me, but also slightly annoys me. I also do miss the... Uh, ability to, like, actively lock on to individual dudes. They replaced it with... The boomstick button. I just want to lock on. Maybe I need to point and then do a thing, maybe? Like, maybe I need to go and look at controls. Because... How do I lock on to people? Like, at least if I know there's the ability to... There's high profile, weapon select, pan camera, eagle vision. Nope, there's no lock on. They're just like, oh, you should trust the contextual. I don't. I do not trust the contextualness of anything in this game. But yeah, let's look for the Bushman. Where are you, Bushman? Do you only come when I whistle like a hoe? Where are you, you fuck? Does he just spawn if I whistle? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I know you exist! You've come for me twice! What the fuck? Where are you? I swear if I fucking do this and another man spawns from the ether, I will be so upset! <laughs> I don't see him. I don't see him. Okay, he didn't spawn that time. <laughs> what is with the Bushman? What kind of weapons do I have? I have a horse whistle, money, but just gun. Other things that are normal. Hmm. Because I gotta kill the general. Maybe if I get into the hay, I can... Hmm. That's probably it. Just need to get into the hay. I so miss the ability to lock on to dudes. Don't search. It's that guy at the stockade that's, like, making me go, No, I can't. I wonder if there's just, like, a way to kill all the guards in this place. Save the stockade, man. Hmm. I'll wait for his next pass. 
and hope that all those guys are dumb. Who knows? This might not even work. But yeah, where the fuck did that bushman always spawn from to harass me? We'll kill the general. Because I assume this is the general. Because we have to save the cap tubes. But yeah, I still don't understand what the Bushman was about. I don't know if, like, he was a passing guard who heard my whistle. If I don't know. And nobody cared. And I just need to kill another person from a corner spot. For these bonuses. I still don't know what the bonuses actually get you. What they unlock if they even do anything. So I might not. I don't follow. Lieutenant Wilkins? Ah, uh, yes. No, no. Man with the gun. Cut your throat. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant, cut your throat. What not? Let's keep on. Do the job. Gotta be careful because I can't get outed. I just need to stab people from corners. At least once more. change of pace from the campaigning back home. Why do you think so many of us volunteer? Good pay, safe work, a chance to own some land. Friends could see an end to that. I don't know. It seems to be canceled the war. Sometimes I want So these normal guys, they don't care cuz they think I'm normal, but officers will be like, "I don't know you." The fellows we passed, they do not exist. Understood? And if they did exist, we would not join them. This officer I will get from this corner position. There we go. Now I just need to not get found. <laughs> Was that even on anything? I'm just gonna save you, nobody else. I'm surprised that they didn't get found. I also need, I, I think the, like, something also said something about killing on the go. I need to try that more. Hello, Baldman. I'm here to save you. That Thomas Smith. Oh, oh, lots of people are worried about my existence. I best uh, be gone. Is that just a league of officers? Seems like it. And they have captives on the boat. Hmm. You see nothing. A man did not come here to the water. A man did not swan dive. No. A man does not exist. That is very staticky water from that angle. Oh, uh, 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 hello. Yes, please. I did not expect to climb into a standing position. Why did the game think that that's a standing? Yes, come here, maybe. Hmm. Get off. Oh, 
I would like to pick up your body. Well, I guess we'll save you. I want to pick up the body, but everything contextual has to be a single button. Oh, but that's a good thing, apparently. Uh, goodbye! Whee! An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect what an madness? And it had best be good. What? Is it because people, the slaves have gotten out? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. I like his performance. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? That seems like a mad idea. And just told those two guys that were just in little silly... F uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to attack. Game? Game! Oh. What? So that was a tutorial, but no tutorial prompt really came up. But what? I'm confuzzled, game. This guy has taken a million hits. He is not... Why did he not die? No Once again, just... <laughs> Kindly die. Avoid line of fire damage again. That wasn't pr told to me, game. Quit throwing bonus objectives at me without telling me! I hate that. That's so dumb. Like, if it told me, that would actually mean something, but it just didn't tell me. I do kind of like the combo attack system, but... Oh, cool. No, you don't. The combat system is a lot more dynamic, but... Alright, it didn't even tell me there was a line of fire coming up until the last moment. I shall attack you all. I forgot who I was for a moment because we're all red coats. No, you don't. No, you don't. If they just told you about incoming additional bonus... Basically, they just need to give you all the bonus objectives at the beginning. And that would actually mean something. Hello, I pressed the button. Why does he get to do a thing but after I parry? What the hell does that mean? Game. Explain. I do thing, I click kill. He says no. Why? I don't understand why, game. If it's not a counter, why does it exist? Like, that feels like that should be like, ah, you failed, but why? Game. Why are you being dumb? Just give me my counter. <laughs> that was dumb, game. Oh, what's that? You, you got a thing? Well, fuck you. We're actually not going to give it to you. Ah, so I can air assassinate him because he's a dumbo. I could Kill use some the help. intruders! All of them! 
And then he died, because I, I, I need him into a wall. Who are you? Name's Hayden Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. The combat is so scuffed at times. One I intend to keep. Didn't even give him time to monologue. And now we will gift this fort to the slaves. And thus a romance has started, obviously. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. But yeah. Just a few things from that combat encounter. One, counter- they just botched countering for some reason? Where they're like, oh yeah, sometimes you press the counter button, but uh, if you, like, do it properly, we're still not gonna give it to you. And we're not gonna tell you why. Like, maybe he has too much health and can't be instantly countered, but then show me their health! And tell me that! I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets. Surely you can go deliver mail for people. Do some side quests. With one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. You couldn't just have, like, I don't know, like, a 3D still of Haytham and fly around him while he gave that? You had to throw me into the Animus Void? But yeah... I don't know how many years later that is. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it's the same year. I don't know. But yeah, I miss being able to lock on to individuals. I don't like that the game is just like, oh, we're not going to tell you about things. I still don't know what vigilantes are about. Like, there are just some things that I just like, eh, nah, nah feel weird. And I think, is that just, yeah, that's just Benjamin Franklin. And after the first interactive conversation, <laughs> we're not going to go back there. He was a weird little man. I guess uh, we will pet the animal. Don't be a guard dog. Oh, and other thing. Really just wish the bonus objectives would be laid out in their entirety and not piecemeal fed to you. She's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. Because it... I'll meet you there. Twice now, they have added a third bonus objective that... It's like twice now, they have added a bonus objective and just didn't tell me. And then it failed. Because they didn't tell me about it. I hate it so much, man. It's just aggravating, the small weird changes. Hello, cat. Don't become a guard cat and force me to kill you. Guess if I wanted to, I could just go to the stores. Well, since that's over there, we'll stop by that store. But yeah, again, so far, nothing terrible, but there are just a few slight grumbles that seem to stem from the ah, we have to change things mentality of sequel development. We must change things because change justification for existence like, sure, it does spice it up from being just, like, Assassin's Creed 2-4. The, the fourth Assassin's Creed 2. But, like, 
you you go on this trilogy spree with Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelations and then you're just going to like flip the script with combat and controls and again just really wish that they just gave all the bonus objectives to you off the bat so you'd be like ah I need to be aware of this rather than aha psych you fool there was a third one all along that is pertinent only to this section because it is combat and because it is combat you will be distracted so you don't even know that there's a third objective of the bonus variety. It's just very silly to me that the game does that. And by silly I mean bad design because... Again, it's combat. Why would I flick my eye towards the bonus objectives after I assumed that I beat them all? It is silly. What can I do for you? Sell me your soul. Let's see, what weapons do you have? I can't buy this. Why not? Captain Kidd's Sawtooth Cutlass. Reward from Ruins at Keros. Crafting recipe can be found in New York. New York, New York. So if these three are locked, but I don't know why. These ones tell me why. Well, not even that one. Some of them do, some of them don't. French rapier is less combo, more damage. Hmm. Blunt weapons. Interesting. Get it from the Ubisoft Club. But I thought I already grabbed everything from the Ubisoft Club. Consumables, you say. Cartridges and smoke bombs. Outfits. They are locked. I cannot have them. <laughs> does the rapier meet the need for speed? No, I think it does. It just uh, locked away its combo potential for more damage it was still very much speedy for needy double barrel pistol interesting a lot of these seem to be like oh that's kind of weird some of them are out of like what's the word uh, out of sequence pirate boarding axe ubisoft club again you don't have any things to sell, but I totally have things to sell. I have, like, dyes and shit. But, with that out of the way, we shall continue on our way. And it does feel like the jittering has died down. It just needed some time to, like, load things in, I guess. And be like, ah, yes. Needed to settle in. So, note to self, load up game a bit. And let it set. Unless it was just like I had to do a mission. And then it settled in. I don't know. It's an Ubisoft game. It may very well come to life and try to shank me in a moment for all I know. But yeah, it just... It feels weird coming to play Assassin's Creed 3 after playing the other four games that precede it. It just feels very odd. I could have probably gotten my horse, but who cares? Land. Maybe an almanac will fly by and justify my existence. But well, those turkeys. Indeed. What have they done to G Jesus, they make you float! <laughs> Is there meant to be something here? <laughs> Is there meant to be a thing? Is it meant to be in the ground more? Why is it floating? Because <laughs> this guy is fine. He's just having a fine time. So yeah, while they were making the remaster, did they just spawn in a scarecrow and forget to move it down? And they haven't fixed this. This remaster has been out for, like, four years! <laughs> Just 
just a random, out of nowhere, floating scarecrow. And the uh, did 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 the slaves not despawn? <laughs> I guess this is a fast travel point. I assume. Yeah, it's a fast travel point. I was wondering what that was. Yo, courier, your ass is tackled. I kind of miss the ability to have, like, slightly fast running and then, like, choosing to, like... Like, in Assassin's Creed 1, I could hold high profile and kind of jog. Though I guess... I just... I don't know. Because that is one thing I kind of miss now that I come to think about it, is choosing when I want to contextually jump onto things. Because in previous games, I need to hold high profile and the A button to be like, I want to climb. But in this game, it's just hold high profile and it's like, ah, it'll be contextual. But what if I want to uh, run around things like there? I wanted to run around the barrel. I want to take a turn, but it's like magnetized to it. I tackle you again, mister. Shows you what for. Are you sure you want to travel to the frontier? The final frontier. Yes, kill streaks allow you instant kills without having to fight every enemy. Hunting region, Scotch Plains. Don't you Oh, my horse. We shall horse along. Is there anything out here? Not really. Good. At least I don't have any synchronization to do. But, but, okay. Was that just an animal scream? Hit some soldiers. I could probably fight them if I wanted. Through the magics. So yeah, instant kill on them. And then that's probably because maybe I didn't do it fast enough. Oi, stop. How dare you. So yeah, this one's just like, aha, I do that. We stop it. So maybe it is like a, ah, you don't get to just counter them all, but then like, explain that. Explain why sometimes things do, but things don't. I dislike when games do not tell me things. I would like to swap this out for my sword. <laughs> but yeah. It's just kind of silly that it's like, ah, some work, some don't. Like... At least when, in previous Assassin's Creed games, like, maybe countering wouldn't kill a guy, but it would still do damage, and the enemies would have health bars, and that would tell you, hey, you did damage. These guys don't have health bars, so I don't know diddly, and that annoys me. And I don't know why they would get rid of that readability for the player. Meh. Elsewise, it just feels like random enemies 
get to survive counters. And others don't. Ominous whistling. So yeah, that that, that is up there on my annoyance and grievance list for this game. Why would you do that, mate? Hope I don't have to synchronize. No. Small place. Hmm. And there's another guard dog. They seem to have their own unique model, maybe. Or at least that's the same model the last guard dog had, so. Presumptions made. Unconvinced. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. <laughs> New email. Some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off, to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. A very rude man. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. He is a rude man. Just wanted to make sure that he wasn't, like, going slow because of me. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Well, those are horses. Bollocks. <laughs> the tracks are fresh. They must be hers. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. I hear wolves. <laughs> I look at you. It runs away. Well, up into the mountains we go. Or like hills. After our horses ran away for some reason. I will follow your plans. Your quest objective is to find woman mood. Indeed. But specifically a mysterious woman. Maybe she's into horoscopes and fortune telling. Also, is it just me or is it kind of wonky for them to label the Native American woman mysterious? The white savior finds his mysterious Native American woman. You presumed, man. Wait, come back. <laughs> Goth girl, Native American GF. To Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious, I can handle things from here. But sir, maybe but nothing. Go, stop running. I only wish to talk. I am a Britishman. I'm not used to I the snow. Just hear me out. God, woman, only let me speak. There's another campsite. Punch the wolf of your bare hands to assert dominance. Was that a dead person? Oh, I hit that. Totally did, you game. That's it, I'm restarting from checkpoint because the game was being a bitch. I hit the button, then the game is just like, no. I mashed the button, and it's like, oh, no, you didn't. I shoot you because fuck off. Could have sworn there was like a dead body. I want to. Oh, it's a multi thing. 
That would have been nice to know, game. I would like to be informed more. What is with this game being like, hey, bonus objective, bing bong, fuck your life. Oh, can I... Am I not native enough to climb your native tree? Die. But yeah, that's... Uh, you can get out of combat mode. There is not an enemy game. Game, there is not an enemy! Well, I guess now there's an enemy, but not one that you're worried about, game, you fucker! You piece of shit! Holster your damn pistol, you motherfucking Brit! <laughs> Alright, let's try to climb a native tree again. It's like, it, like he has a seizure as he tries to climb it. Is it because I'm not meant to know how to climb these yet? <laughs> but she's right there! You try my patience, woman! <laughs> it's not my fault that I expect to climb things in Assassin's Cream. Because I think the game is built on, like, the basics of, like, ah, you can climb trees and shit. But we're not meant to know yet because we are but a British man. We are not in tune with the wild. In the head? Me. Hatham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? Because he assumes less of you. Sorry. You were running. What do you want? <laughs> she says that so modernly. What do you want? I'm good to see you. Well, pleased to meet you. I could never say that. I'm good to see you. Just call me Zio. 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 Hitting all of the things. Now tell me why it is you're here. Want your help. Do you know this? Where did you get this? I killed a man in Britain. Ha! <laughs> From an old friend. Forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. But how do we know that? You're British? <laughs> Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. Which hill? Oh, just this hill we were right at. But yeah, that is kind of funny that the game is like, Ah, oh, you are but a British man. You are not in tune with the wilds. You don't know how to climb trees. <laughs> and again, like, that is got like, this is like the third time the game is like, hey, extra bonus objective and we're gonna place you right in the way of that bonus objective being failed or not so and it's a combat encounter oh stop the snitches from bringing reinforcements ah get out of the way of the firing line ah don't lose 50 health <laughs> it's like jesus While you're trying to comprehend this game's bonus objectives, hydrate. People from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Not anymore. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? Murder. That we kill Edward Braddock. First, we have to find him. I don't 
don't trust you. Fair enough. I know. <laughs> Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. Are we just gonna knock on his door and fire the gun? And like, we just completely ditched Lee back there. He killed a wolf, sent her running. He was like, oh, fuck off, Lee. Ah, it's a tavern. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. I just hope we don't have to save her a second time. Let me see. Is there no bonus objective? No, it's still limit health loss. And the goddamn gull shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something, and all evil is excused. Again, I miss the ability to lock onto individuals. Why are they angry with me? I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Well, that was a fast one. Where are you going, Cully? Why do you look like a zombie? Me? <laughs> Me? The other cock robin. Well, I, um... I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. <laughs> and you were worried I was going to be the problem? Okay, that's funny. Drop kick. Utterly brutal. That's for your stupid hat. <laughs> Broke him in two. Ow, game. I couldn't even see. Get out of here! Did they add any new ones? Use breakables in the fight. They added another one with no fanfare! Why? <laughs> yes, they're optional objectives, but I don't know what they do if you do them all! You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. I'm going to steal alcohol. <laughs> the bleeding but I thought you did not trust me it wasn't necessary but thank you we should move on meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready and then we are here again It was only by luck that I did it all. Let me take a look at the like diddly d. Complete all objectives before finishing the mission. Well, of course. How do you complete objectives after the mission is finished? Avoid the firing line. Data encrypted. But yeah, it's just like, why do they do that? That Just give me all of them at the same time so I know what the fuck 
I'm going to be looking at. It's very, very annoying when the game is just like, fuck your life, bing bong. You don't deserve forewarning. Here you go. Like, I swear they didn't even put the use diddly D twice breakables in this fight thing. I am 90% certain it didn't even come up on the screen. And I'm 100% certain that even if it did come up on the screen, far, far, far too many players would just not notice it. Did they not play test this game? Did they have video game journalists play test this game? And they're like, oh, well, I don't care about uh, the bonus objectives anyway, so I'm not going to give a shit. I can't even get past the tutorial. Granted, I can't really speak that much. I had a hard time with the tutorial too, but that's mostly because the, they changed the gameplay. I was trying to counter normally, and they're like, yeah, you have to press the B button and then the X button. It just hurts my brain. All I long for is intelligent design. Do I just wade across this river of my horse? Where's a bridge? I probably should have followed the goddamn road. Ah, there's a road. Bridge. But my brain is still hooked on... For a moment, I thought those leaves are floating. In some ways, they kind of are. But yeah. I can kind of get used to the wonky combat of like, Ah, you can counter, but maybe he just won't die. Makes sense if it's an officer, I guess, but like... That one guy back at the fort, he was just a normal dude in a shitty little hat. Why the counter didn't kill him? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently my horse is racist and doesn't like you. Execution is everything. Because we're going to execute a guy. <laughs> Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly, but I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. You know what? I kind of have half a mind that in the future... Hmm. Do not kill any guards know. using a weapon, so I'll do it with my bare hands. I wonder if I can, like, choke him out. Ah, so I can knock him out. I wonder if this will count. Are my hands fists? Again, I wish they would just give me all of the optional objectives at the front. I'm going to have to wait for this guy to walk away if he will. Just to test this out. Maybe. Because he's acting weird and I don't trust him. I just know that if I try to knock this guy out, he'll be like... Ah. I wonder if I can knock this guy out and that guy wouldn't care. It's hard to know. I forget. There was a game I played some time ago 
where it would actually tell you if an enemy would care or not. If like, uh, ah, you can kill this guy, but that would alert people. That kind of information. That is nice information to have. Die, Brit man. You're ugly. Hmm, I, I need to move his body. Move the body and I'll knock the guy out. Then again, isn't this already murder? These guys are going to be... Freezing out here in the cold without any heat. That whistled to somebody. Why are you walk... Uh, is it because of the hill? It's because of the hill, isn't it? Either that or the other guy walking to the right is also coming for me. I think it's both. This guy heard me somehow, because this game is ass. <laughs> Why did it... Either this guy just so happened to have a mission in the exact same way the other guy did who I whistled at, or it whistled at him and it didn't tell me, because I can't fucking target who I want anymore. Can I? I don't think he said that last time. But fine, let's do it your way. At least I have informed myself of knocking dudes out doesn't count as killing. So that was informative in the least. Didn't even look. But yeah, I do not like the whistle system because the game won't let me fucking lock onto people. I like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I wonder what the diddly D on the back is. Yeah, uh, what's the two X's that are happy, happy? George Washington has been added. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't you see this is unwise? He doesn't sit wrong. Very rude game. This is just very silly. At least this time they kind of announced it was like, hey, you can sabotage cannons. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I still think is, but I still don't know what the X is at the next to the mini map mean. I don't understand. What did they fucking mean, man? What did I fucking mean? Maybe I need to start knocking dudes out. I swear, Eagle Vision does something fucky. Don't be found.
Oh, maybe the thing in the bottom is like a vision indicator. It is! Thanks to tell me, game. <laughs> Either I am dumb, or the game never told me. At least the game told me in some fashion that cannons existed. That is at least a thing that they did. I think I've seen this fort before. Like, in gameplay for Assassin's Creed 3. Or maybe they just reuse certain aspects of the fort. Just want to make sure there's, like, no dude up here. No, there's just a dude down there. Oh, I could have sworn that a guy went up there. Uh, uh, uh. The game is having a seizure. 55 times a year. Ah, oh, it's the guy on the outside of the wall. Just at a slightly different elevation. Yeah, this guy is getting knocked the fuck out so I can listen to them. And then get to the cannon. Nom nom. You don't mind this merchant, do ya? Thank you, merchant. I like this merchant. He doesn't ask questions. And apparently I'm fireproof. We'll deal with the cannon later. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution. Oh, this is George Washington. I'm dumb. Would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, Jock. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Does that mean I can knock out George Washington? I almost want to do that now. Can I knock out George Washington? Can I knock out George Washington? That'd be fucking hilarious if I can't- WHAT THE FUCK?! Cause the other cannon's down there. I- I have to try. I have to try and knock out George Washington. No, he didn't! I knocked him out! There is a difference, game! You've been telling me it's been knocking people out, not killing them. Or is it because I threw him into the hay bale of leaves and that's why he quote unquote died? Maybe. How dare you, game? I wanted to knock out George Washington. Perhaps I could sabotage them. You're not real. I already knocked you out. How dare you live? I just wanted to knock out George Washington. Was that such a crime? Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Kind of annoying that it didn't give me a thing. That game, I wanted to knock out the can not fucking activate it. Once again, how is Assassin's Creed 1 better than this? In Assassin's Creed 1, I could get into position and then be like, hey, I want to knock out- I want to listen to the guys. Why, game? Can't you just fucking do what I tell you to, you asshole? That's so dumb.
away from the away from it away from it yeah but yeah i'm going to herald that as a big old fuck off because assassin's creed 1 with the, allowed me to choose when activating that why not this that's so dumb i hate it ah but we have to smooth out the gameplay remove all hitches Put all the buttons only on one button. Return to Atari. So unfathomably dumb. Why would you put a guy who's in your way Hello, friend. Well, he's obviously dead. I forgot that you existed. The fuck? Who? There were two dudes up there. No, there weren't before. Right? There was only one dude up there before. Another Bushman has entered the realm. Like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Come to me, you b bastard, so I can knock you out, hide you in a bush, because the game is mean. Hello there. Yeah, there's only one fucker up there. Well, I whistled at somebody. Am I just whistling at all the guards across the universe? Yeah, because that guy was up there. He ran down here. I knocked him out. None of this makes sense. No, you. You didn't respond! He's a ghostman! He's Ghost Jerry! Now, please don't respawn on top of me. That is dumb. That is dumb. That is dumb. The motherfucker respawned after I knocked him out? What? That's so evil. <laughs> That's like the mad bastard angry squad from the first game. Where just an angry squad of guards out for my blood. That's another reason that I missed the original form. I could just run and not have to worry about contextual jumping. diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One of which they now have the upper hand. How did they even see me? I was in bushes. Don't worry, George Washington. I can't knock you out. But I could shoot him. It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take... So that's one way to, like, the manipulate the their pathing, I guess. You wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. 
I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. This is all very silly. Don't mind me, I'm just heading towards your, uh, your shit. Come on, game, why you have to exist? Don't get angry, please. They could see me, definitely, but they don't care. I just want that fucking cannon. You can't see me. Fuck off. I'm a ghost wizard. Maybe if I hang down, he'll fuck off. Be gone. You don't know that I'm here, you can go away. If I tried to jump into the leaves, he'd be like, oh, I see you. Why do you even exist, you Brit? Am I going to have to re-infiltrate this motherfucking place to knock out this asshole? It's beginning to look like it. Oh, is he finally fucking moved? Nope. Why? Why, game? Why is your AI fucking stupid? Come on, there's clearly a place I can come up. Climb the rocks, you British man. Why is this little asshole just standing there? In the way. Oh, I think he finally fucked off. It just took five billion years too long. Why? He came fucking back, the asshole. Why? I'm going to murder you the next time you come by these leaves, you asshole. On principle this time. Because <laughs> he stood there looking up way too long. If he's not interested... Like, if he's interested, have the little indicator icon above him. If he's not interested, make him go home. Hello. Die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. Really wish I could knock out George Washington. They're marked as enemies. They should be fair game. What, is it because they're historical shenanigans? That motherfucker better not respawn again. Yoink. Well, there is one way. I think the snowstorm is gone. Well, that's not good. Ignore me a bit longer, Washi. Nothing to see here. I'm just going to go by, knock out a friend, move along the coast. Say goodnight. Oh, there's a fucking cliff. And then I assume the do not kill any guards thing will be activated the moment that I head back to however the hell you say her name. 
I'm guessing that the little bibbity bob in the bottom left hand corner next to the map is the notoriety level. And then the game just was terrible at telling me what that was. I've got it. Notoriety level is marked by X's and tells me how the guards react in an area. What news? Murder. America has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. That was a slightly scuffed mission. You better fucking give me that. No kill anybody. My hands aren't weapons. Good. My hands are not weapons. But yeah, that was kind of a scuffed mission. The guy respawned. The eavesdropping is auto-activated, which is inferior to the first Assassin's Creed game that was ever made. How do you manage that? How do you do worse than the first Assassin's Creed game? Oh yeah, that's right, you got rid of Lock-On. Why did you get rid of Lock-On? Your contextual button presses are so unwieldy that you knew you needed Lock-On to do them decently. The pseudo lock-on technology has always existed in your games. You didn't need to get rid of the actual technology. Why? Oh, well, we just thought that uh, contextual would uh, work well enough. Fuck no. Man. These little changes that... R this is beginning to feel like... B team who did Assassin's Creed 2's memory sequence 13. Why does it feel like some of the people that worked on that worked on this? I'm getting feelings, man. I'm getting worries. Weird little stupid decisions that are just like, oh, but my head. Little whinging reasons. It feels like. To justify these differences is what it feels like, man. I am getting afraid. I am like... Like, yeah, two changes. Two changes, and I think I would have next to no major issues with this game so far. Change number one, lock-on. Give me lock-on technology. Change number two, just give me all of the bonus objectives at the beginning of a level. Or memory sequence or whatever. Oh, but that might uh, spoil what's going to happen in the memory. I don't fucking care. You're the ones who are deciding what the bonus objective is. Choose non-spoily bonus objectives then. Instead of throwing them at players, or, in my experience, not throw them at me. I still am 90% certain that they don't tell you as like a flash, like... Listen, the bonus objectives should just be on screen 24-7 if you're going to have out-of-nowhere bonus objectives so I can fl flick my eye over. But no, they disappear. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, man. I'm losing my mind. I'm hearing the birds of doom. A chicken out-muscled me. Would everybody know to gather here? Five months later. I thought, wow, that's a lot of planning. We're jumping around more cold, than... Cold round. We're, we're, we're skip-jumping time around faster than Ezio did. Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. We probably shouldn't have uh, let the one guy drink too much. He's going to out uh, oust us from his drunkenness, isn't he? But first I... it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Like so far I am enjoying the game. Too, as 
We already know about Killstreak's game. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one. But yeah, so far I am enjoying the game. It's just I wish they kept some of the stuff from the past. Return to finish out his service under Braddock. So now we're gonna go kill Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Because I can excuse a lot of weirdness, it's just like super recurring things eat away at my soul and they slither into my mind. sense it first and make his escape he's more clever than you think have you brought three people I see you've been busy all these men are from many different tribes united in their desire to see Braddock sent away fair enough the Abenaki the Lenape the Shawnee and you who do you stand for? Myself. Interesting. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. She said that weird. Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? George Washington. Just savoring the moment. No doubt. Many wonder why it is we pushed I can't forward. wait wait for King it's Tyranny land, Washington DLC. I just want to know what it is. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper, which means we need more land. The French understand this. And endeavor to prevent such growth. But the French they are evil. Our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Well, evil for the British. The day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we rise. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die. There's a way of words, Stoney. Scatter the expedition is not enough. I must ensure that Braddock falls. Thus he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. So I g this is the second time we're going to dress up as a Brit man? We await your signal. I'll need to do some database reading. No, game, don't tell me you did. The game did it again. Kill them. I d game. Will you fuck off? I bring back lock on so I can be like, I want to whistle at that motherfucker. But then the game is like, I'm going to whistle to the guy that you can't even see. The guy that's not even soft locked on. Dumbass game. I don't fucking care about your stupid log like game. I don't care about your little kill streak. Oh, you can do kill streaks. You've told me three times. I will murder your family. What the fuck is wrong with this game sometimes, man?
And that guy just... I hate this game. He didn't even stick around to like, Oh, I'm gonna look so to get me closer. Get the fuck is wrong with you? Game, are you fucking high? I'm so bothered by this game right now. He's doing things to hurt me. It's not what I wanted, game. Why? Why is... Why is everything tied to B? I wanted to whistle. <laughs> game. Ah, oh, well, you see, we lobotomized our game dev team. So now everything's one button. Why? How? Uh, that's so dumb. Have the person that I have highlighted be my target. When I look at enemy, it is because, like, and let me, like, highlight body and be like, I want to, uh, diddly dee this guy. But, uh, everything. It's just like, ah, oh, would you like to pick up your weapon? I would like to fuck not. I would like to whistle. Whistle pretty clean. But oh, everything is tied to the B button now, so we can all fuck off and die. I am bothered by this game design. <laughs> Why does everything have to be the B button? Everything is the B button, and it is dumb. Kill them! Why does everything have to be the B button in this game? <laughs> everything has to be the B button. Everything has to be contextual. I am bothered, Billy. I am bothered indeed. With a French pushback, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. There's a lot of dudes here. Have served, Julie. Sir? You are grateful to have served. General! Bastard! He's just still standing there like he didn't just shoot a guy. So fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! There's dudes. Sir. Good job, Charles. And you just let him get away. Uh, why slow-mo? I can't do shit, you fucking game. Game, I can't do anything. Again, this is why lock-on is imperative. That should have killed you! Why is his horse more sturdy than my horse? He obviously doesn't love his horse. It's 
So was I not meant to kill him that entire time? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Did I be betrayed? Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. It oh, no, it's Washington. The end of you. Don't. Before he gets away. <laughs> I said go. George Washington. Got hilt punched by a woman. I don't this. Yes, you do. You're a hypocrite, Tatum. I'm sorry, Edward. But you forced my hand. <laughs> we run silly through the bog. Goodbye, Edward. And this is our first proper assassination. Time for confession, maybe. Why, Hatham? Your death opens a door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Used to be. Once, perhaps. No longer. you did all those innocents slaughtered and for what it does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution wrong whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often the world would be a better place than it is today that's your belief and you're insane i concur huh. we will apply the sword to you more liberally I will take the ring that was under your glove from you. It's done. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. What of uh, George Washington? I still want to know what, like... George Washington's tyranny begins like. Oh! So we come to the same place that we were in the future past. But we don't have the apple. Apple. To open the door. No. No. This is the wrong key. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of your Dizu. Who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. I do kind of like the, like, Native American graffiti. Later on, normal graffiti. This wall just gets graffitied. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. We have met three times over the course of like six months, Mr. White Savior, and now I love you. <laughs> Graffiti lore. Thank you. Well, it's basically cave painting in a nutshell. I. I should go. I inexplicably love you, Native American woman, whose name I can't say because I'm a Philistine. Yes, I know, I can replay missions. What did I miss? Because they keep throwing goddamn things at me without telling me. Destroy powder carts. You didn't tell me, you ho. 
That's so dumb. Oh, well, you can replay the missions. So tell me while I do it. You bitch. Why? Such terrible design. I don't care about the kill streaks. You keep telling me about the kill streaks. I already know about them. I am already aware. He left the door open. Can we? Did you find it then? I found a wall. It was not the right place. The, the others are waiting for you. It was a very shiny wall, but it was not the wall we wanted. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order. And establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Through. It'll only take us like 300 years. I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Oh, are we gonna. Are any opposed? Finally get extra information about this order of ours. Charles, come, stand. We're going to, uh, uh, t we're going to chop off a finger of yours. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. Because again, they've been very vague about this order. Now until death, whatever the cost, I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world. One defined by purpose and order. A new world order, you mean? Give me your hand. You? I knew they were being too vague. Far May too vague. Understanding guide us. May they guide us. But he's been using, like... <laughs> Even Desmond is like, the fuck? He's still blinking, he is aware. Yeah, they were being way too vague about the order. For it to not have been a twist. You all saw that, right? He must be the amulet Haytham took from London. Templar's O3 colonization. <laughs> Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the animus? I'm too frail an old man. Your response. It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? A lot of things. The bleed effect. You want to know? I've lived you like I'm decades. Treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would <laughs> very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I love the idea that find out the dude was the Templar made Desmond so mad he immediately desynced back to the cave. I have done has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of time. Right. That was unusual. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. Sean has the right idea. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. 
Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet. Like, so it, it was a good twist, but they were a little too obvious with it. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. I'll take a look around here. That's very interesting. Oh. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Yeah. Thanks. For what? For being a good person. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> everything. You sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus. You helped train me. Pulled me out of that coma. You're a good you person. Work into the database and help me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. Maybe. Why did why did she go over the, the over a microphone? Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands. That's not Desmond talking. A completely different language and culture. Possessed That's John Delancey. Why is it called Desmond? What? We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about Why is it labeled Desmond? <laughs> John Dem John Dismancy. Maybe. Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's probably going to be dangerous. Like we have a lot of <laughs> alternatives. Well, we could, I don't know, warn the president? <laughs> and what's he going to do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. Yep. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean. They would weaponize it. Actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. And they're evil. It to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then when it's all over, out they come. <laughs> Love us some Discord. It. It's always fun just to hear John Delancey and something, and I go like, Hey! So, uh, it's the Dracaniquist man! Maybe going through different universes on a vacation. I would like to interact with the goddamn computer. Ah, oh, mission replay. Patch notes. Everything is on the fucking single button because we're dumb. Let's see. Uh, I think I already read that. Maybe it just didn't save that I read it. Cosmetic upgrades. <laughs> Balls. Happy Halloween. Haytham's Amulet. Though I suppose Haytham's Amulet is technically... Oh, I read that. Good Lord, Rebecca, with all the fixes and updates and improvements you supposedly put into this recent software revision, one would think you would have had the decency to include a British English dictionary in the spell checker. Some of us prefer to use proper language when corresponding. The database keeps trying to replace the letters with Z in certain words, and it's declared war on the letter U as well. Realize becomes realize, and color becomes color. Wrong, wrong, wrong! It's all raw, it's all rather ethnocentric, if you ask me. Also quite against the principles of the Assassin Brotherhood, last I checked. And here I thought we were meant to be an all-inclusive bunch. Email fix. Just a quick heads up, replying to email chains will no longer return multiple instances of the word re. Should cut down on the subject length considerably. Let's see. Are you sure about that? See above. <laughs> ha ha ha, very funny, Sean. <laughs> Focus, please. Hey there, Desmond, is he the day of the email? You've been in the Animus for a few days now. But don't worry, I've been staying on top of your vitals. Not even a blip. 
So it looks like extending the sessions won't be a problem. Whatever happened between you and 16 seems to have increased your tolerance. The animus keeps you in a resting state, which takes care of fatigue, and your memories are vivid enough we're actually seeing micro-movement in your muscles, which means no atrophy issues either. Still, we'll be bringing you out for breaks just to keep you on the safe side. That's kind of cool. In-universe, like, trying to explain. Yes? Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. He doesn't seem to be like it. You have more important things to do right now. But, uh, right. Judo! Jesus, Dad. Chudo's just over there. I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Yeah. Nothing. You wasted <laughs> Where are MLP crossovers? That would actually be kind of interesting. Pony up Stergo. You are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Princess Celestia is Juno. I will hit back. Hey there, Juno. And then Juno fucked off. Because I think they wanted me to do things out here, like find more batteries, I think. Explore, maybe. But this is the real world. Huh. There aren't any bloody diddly d markers for me to follow. I'm a video gamer. How am I supposed to see without my blips and blops? Hello, Sean. Can't interact with this laptop. Would you look at that? What is it? If I Why is everybody who's not nearby come through Desmond? And judging from the iconography. I think it's safe to say, when that's empty, the end begins. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. <laughs> Who'd have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. That's how he might have gotten the... Right you are in... Like the hidden blade and stuff. He was an archite, and it appears that Hatham's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least... For a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera, Reginald Birch, Grand Master of the London Chapter of Templars, he and Hatham's father, a man named Edward, well, they were long-time rival. Now, it appears Birch got his hands on Hatham at a rather young age. Birch is wild to convince Hatham to switch sides. I wonder how he did it. Well, I'll see if I can't dig up more. But then he killed that guy, right? Or was it the guy that contracted us to kill the guy? Who he's talking about. Because there were like two guys at the opera house. Guy we killed and then the guy who told us to kill. But yeah, might be on... What, 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 what? What's going on? Where am I? Why is there a planet floating by? In the beginning. But it didn't work. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. And why would that be? The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. All right. But it's only one tower. And where's the automation? What automated this? Great. Now my brain is flowing with like fanfic ideas. As if I didn't have enough of those. 
I already have five billion and one fanfic ideas. Eating away at my soul. Hmm. More than likely, we do need to just follow this. We'll just run along. Into another cutscene. Wahoo! If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the field to protect us. They had pistols! Again, we failed. A quarter so time. futuristic they are. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time the city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. You seem to have a lot of ideas that just fail. You built all these apples and swords of Eden, and you couldn't do jack shit. We are the future of the past, and we suck at everything, apparently. Hmm. Like, they're looking for more Betuies. Right. That's what they want out of me, my blood. Another reason why holding the... Holding a button instead of a trigger for running would be better, in my opinion. Hmm. But I do believe it that this is it for this room, maybe. I don't see unless we go this way. Maybe... No, it doesn't seem like. It's a shame they killed Desmond. Oh yeah, they do, like... Uh, didn't I think I heard that, like they put his brain in a jar or something. Don't know when that happens. Black Flag maybe, or is Black Flag played from his brain? The franchise never had a good modern day again. Yeah, because, like, later on, don't they just, like, default, like, ah, you are random subject man 45, rather than actually giving them any personality. Hmm. It is kind of sad. Because, like, they've built a nice, like, base of characters here. <laughs> Apparently there's UAV-001. Apparently there's nothing. No missions for me to play. Desmond dies in the end of AC3 and Abstergo extracts his DNA. But I'm playing AC3. Why would you spoil that, man? Darn it. I didn't know when he died. Come on, Desmond. Better jump off a cliff. We all know where this is going now. <laughs> but yeah, they said something weird like, Hey, maybe you can walk around, find things. Or go back into the Animus. So now I'm wondering if they want me to walk around. Like, I knew that he died. I just didn't know which game. I wonder if they actually meant that by anything like the... Oh, we don't know the, where any batteries are, at least down here. And that kind of implies going somewhere else up here somewhere to find more batteries. I don't know. 
How dare you give me a choice game? Because now I'm like, ah, am I missing something? Am I doing something wrong? Have you seen Juno? I think I've met all three of them. Like, uh, they have, like I went in here and they're like, ah, oh, we tried to build towers, but we failed. So we've made metal automate what might be made. We had, like, shields and thought maybe we could shield the world. And then we failed. Because I went in there and I looked all around, got to that balcony. Unless there's more on that balcony, but I don't think there is. We'll check it out. Every Desmond mission, you get a battery. You insert the battery and get a cool cutscene of backstory. And that's all you do, really. Yeah, because I explored around here. Unless the battery is, like, hidden and everyone's blind. Maybe I'm blind. Or maybe it's just the poor lighting system. I'll double check, but I'm fairly certain that I didn't see anything. But again... Could just be that there. That's mean game. I miss the days when I could choose to hold the high profile button and the run button for different effects. Now it's like, ah, you better be careful. High profile means jumping all the time, you fool. Ha ha ha. But I want to go fast and careful, game. Yeah, because I don't see any climbables that way. Unless the climbable is this pillar, but I don't think so. But it's now based on sensitivity. I miss the old controls, really. Press the trigger lighter and he doesn't jump. Huh. Haptic, well, not haptic feedback, but like, yeah, that kind of like, ah, half-holding. Most games don't really have that, come to think of it. Usually it's all or nothing. But yeah, I don't see any now I'm, like, wondering, is that a light that is important, or is it not? There's too much glowy. So there is this balcony-like place, but I don't see, like, anywhere to go from this balcony. Again, unless I'm blind. Entirely possible that I'm blind. Could it be that I am what's wrong with modern gaming? I need painted ladders now. Oh, can I just squeeze through? Hmm, I do not know. Come on, Desmond, you can climb that. There's clearly enough room for you to jump over that wall. Yeah, because now I'm just w worried that I'm going to miss something because I'm like, oh, that's nothing, and then I just don't. It's like, here's a table, and here's, like, a workbench. So it makes me think, like... Because I'm fairly certain, like, there was something like this in the opening. So that makes me wonder that there might be a battery nearby. I don't know. Once again, maybe I'm blind. Maybe I need to use this more. I swear they did some... I swear, like, uh, Eagle Vision does something to the camera now. It makes it feel wobbly. Yeah, I don't see anything. Again, could be blind. There's obviously more, but I can't sneaky sneak past. That's kind of weird. I, I miss Monte Agione. At least that place I knew what was going on. Now this is just a cave with extra cave bits. And now I don't know where to go or what to do. Because they said, like, hey, walk around. And since they mentioned the batteries, that makes me assume they want me to find more batteries. And, like, this is the only real place that I think I can go right now. So that makes me feel like there's more to do here. But I might be dumb. Hmm. Because it worms over here, but... Yeah, it doesn't climb. Doesn't see anything. Like, uh, the only odd thing is this guy, who's, like, a beheaded. If 
But I can't climb that either. Weird. Hmm. Maybe I need to actually go down instead of up. Not too down, though. Don't want to fall into a pit. Lots of glowy bits down here. But I don't see anything to, like, interact with. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any batteries in here. Granted, they probably... Well, I don't know. It seems like I'm the only one who can climb in, in this group, so... Interesting. Odd and interesting, but sure. I wonder why they would let me climb that. As a tutorial, like, hey, you can climb this. Why would I be able to climb that? I don't know. I'm a video game. Hmm. So was this just like, hey, come down here. Cutscene. Climb up there. Cutscene. And there's nothing else. I don't know. That, that feels weird to me. It feels weird that they pull me out and say, hey, we can throw you back into the Animus. Or you can wander around and find us more batteries. That feels very pointed, nudge, nudge, go find batteries. And I don't see no batteries around here. Which makes me feel like I... Uh, I'm holding left right now. <laughs> hmm. That's where we start. Yeah, this like I'm trying to analyze it, trying to think, hey. It's like again, it feels like them nudge 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 nudge, hey. Go explore, man. Feels like there would be more. Either that or I'm horribly blind and I walk past the battery five million times. Because, like, it feels weird that there's this balcony, but they don't, like, show anything. Maybe this balcony will connect to that place. I don't know. But, yeah, it doesn't feel like anything over there. And this place doesn't... On this side doesn't feel like there's anything... Except wonky lighting. I can turn off the sun. Well, that would actually help our issues right now. If I could find a way to turn off the sun. They just have a light pointed at this. Presuming it to be a door, I think. They're playing action-y music. I don't think this way will hold anything. It's funny that they're like, no, Desmond, don't run away. Hmm. I like that she just appears, but if I get too close, she's like, I'm out. She watches over me, haunts me. Make sure that I stay in memory zone. I'm sure if we all teamed up as assassins, we would be able to actually go places. But John Delancey doesn't want to put his back into it. No, Dad, don't lift me up. Like, I see you. I see a spinny, like, diddly, but I can't get to it. I need to find a way to climb. Because, hmm. like, this is the first time that they, like, really majorly said, Hey, so it feels like I should find a battery. And it feels like the battery should be over here. I don't know. Is that another remastered quirk? Sometimes the battery just disappears. I'd believe that. I'll do one last look and then we'll probably go back to the Animus. To deal with the fallout of, Psych, you aren't actually... 
But that also makes me wonder if, like, the bulldog British man, was he a rogue Templar or was he an assassin who was a jackass? Because, again, up here feels important. This feels like it's the console for the battery. But then there's, like, nothing here to do. No, you're doing wrong. Go back to the, the beam. Ah, the beam, you say. All right, the beam. Do I need to hold on to it? Maybe. Nope. Hmm. Back to the beam. It's a very big beam, so I don't know exactly which way. Because it does seem to get more blue compared to orange, so maybe there's... Hmm. I don't know. The beam, you say. Again, there's the weird flat one. The higher one. Because I assume this is the beam you mean, unless I'm being dumb. Cause... Yeah, because this, I presume, is the higher beam. So maybe not the central pillar, but like these higher beams of climbing aroundness. Now jump to the square thing. I thought I tried that. So maybe that? Nope. Because I thought I tried jumping to you. Maybe... Yeah, I could have sworn I tried jumping to the square thing. Well, let's try it again. The other one. Because there's lots of squares here. I guess I'll just uh, start cl trying to climb all the... Game? <laughs> because I'm holding the... Because <laughs> I'm holding it. Yeah, the smaller one. Because... Uh... I could have sw Nope. Hmm. I must be blind. Because there's lots of pillars. And I presume, like, the smaller one is the flat one that's most easily accessible. <laughs> Did I run into a glitch? <laughs> Am I supposed to get on top of that? <laughs> Is the game fucking me again? Dang it. Because one thing I wish I could do is, like, in past Assassin's Creed, you could be like... Yeah, and then jump across. Eh. Nope. It's... It won't let me. Maybe I'm not meant to get this one yet? Maybe I need to do something else? Yeah, because I figured that, hey, this is a flat pillar. I feel like I should be able to do something with it. And then it just doesn't. Hmm. It's hollow in there. Have you tried the other side of the temple? If you mean like, uh... The other other side as in over there where... Like, I did notice some things. Like, over on this side. But I don't think I'm able to access anything. Because, like, uh, there is fucking no light. The fuck? The light went away. Uh, yeah, I, I, there used to be light over here! Game? Game, why? Yeah, like, uh... Uh, like, I tried climbing this, but there's, like, a, a door up there. And the lighting is just absolutely fucked in this area. That is presumably a door that is closed. And, uh, I did notice that there is a, like, spinny dilly up there that I can't get. It's near the Animus. Let's see, any weirdness? Because I already checked my emails near the animus like behind the animus to the left of the animus
Also, which depends on what you mean by near the animus. Hmm. Because that felt like it was so far away from, like, uh, the animus that it shouldn't be, like, activation. Like, that is activation. And then we just slowly get too far away. It's better if you go back to the animus. It's not really worth it. I'll look up, like, a guide maybe next <laughs> later. Yeah, it just feels weird. Like, I should be able to do something. They said, hey, walk around. And then I just couldn't find anything. It could just be the game's weird. The game, I think the game broke, probably. At this rate. <laughs> probably. Which would be sad. Because I like to do things. All right. Here goes. Profound sadness, though. Oh, what? Well, I, I guess technically she's an ancestor, yeah. Get his father's features, but enough of me that he did not appear as a stranger. In the end, it mattered little. My people loved him as their own. I miss Haytham sometimes, but he was a bastard. He may even loved me in his own way. But his eyes, his eyes were ever fixed upon the future. One in which he and his Templar brethren controlled all. My greatest fear is that one day I shall look into the face of my son and see the same dark hunger there. Interesting. But yeah, I'll definitely look up a guide of like, hey, Assassin's Creed 3 things. outside animus puzzles because again entirely possible that it just broke because that's just how it goes it's an ubisoft game a remaster one that fucked up the audio somehow when it comes to synchronization is it one day stuff hmm he was learning to read. I wonder if they're using like act an actual Native American language. And if they're doing it well. <laughs> immediately enter Animus, immediately get new email. Why must my jog be faster than their jog? I, I cannot pronounce these names for I am but a Philistine. And I have no dollars. Or euros or whatever. The dollar hasn't been made yet. Mean. Do you plan on growing your channels or just a side hobby? That's yeah, mostly like, man, if my channel grows good. Like, I, I try to do. I want to try and do more content creation, but brain sometimes gets in the way. I'm trying to read as they talk. It is kind of funny that, like, the animus translation doesn't work on the Native American language. We will play Draw the Sticks. Am I going to find all these children murdered? He counted to 100. <laughs> That's why I found yours. Ah, analyze clue. I will analyze the children's clues and find them all. 
Without making a mistake? What do you mean without making a mistake? I wonder what he means by making a mistake. But yeah, generally I want to, like, make more, like, scripted content. And edited content in the future. Try to incorporate my art into it as well. So, it, like, ultimately try to make a... <laughs> pipeline of, uh, stream a game... Make a scripted, edited video review that uses my own art in it. Kind of thing. But I just need to get more motivated and do things more. Because depression is a bitch and really murders motivation. I need to draw more, need to write more. Make interesting videos that people would might enjoy. Again, I wonder what they mean by making a mistake. What do you mean without making a mistake, game? What kind of bonus objective is that? What does that even mean? Without making a mistake? Without jumping into a, a leaf bale? Is that what you mean? Be more specific, game. I don't even know what the bonus objectives even do when it comes to 100% synchronization like uh in brotherhood they unlocked the christina missions and a few little things in brother uh, revelations they unlocked like cheat code things that i never really understood at least the bonus objectives are like staying on screen for eternity again i wonder why is jumping into a bale of heaves a bale of heaves my brain is melting from this game. A bale of leaves. A considered a mistake. Like, ah, you tripped into the leaves, you fool. <laughs> Wait, my goal is mostly stream more games to review, practice art with, and writing, and write stories and stuff like that. I was also very unmotivated, but then a video got viral and my channel started to grow a lot. Neat! That's always nice. Because when it comes to, like, content creation, it is kind of like that. Keep at it and uh, just keep going until something breaks through the algorithm and the algorithm lifts you into the air. Nice and kind-like. Or just, like, maybe somebody find. Uh, did the game break again and actually not show them. Where's the next clue game? Oh. Oh, that was the mistake. They're getting harder to ha find. That's what it was. That makes sense now. I didn't know that children were actively hiding in bundles. Yeah, you gotta repeat what went viral, because otherwise YouTube uh, won't recommend it anymore. Yep. That is also another thing. Oh, they were both in there. Yeah, because... I don't think that I would be, like, super into playing the algorithm game. I'm no MatPat. But... One thing that I do, like, primarily, I think, when it comes to content creation, it's not really so much trying to recreate what went viral so much as being consistent with your content creation. If you're consistent enough with your content creation and schedule and quality, eventually your, like, channel will uh, blow up uh, over time rather than a huge spurts. Kind of like Captain Disillusion. He went for like 14 years and slowly but surely his channel grew because he had consistent quality even if it was like months upon months. 
I know a guy who had a video go viral, 150k views, then he made another one like it, 320k. And the moment he tried something different, he uh, went in his channel, died, well, 1.5k views. That is the downside where you, it depends like on what you mean by like uh, did different, because like on the internet now it varies so much like there's a uh, music channel that i follow uh jonathan young and one thing that he noticed like even though all he does is music and consistently does music the fact that he has uh does so different music kind of splits his channel and that's why he made a secondary channel for like anime covers because the people that like anime covers only watch the anime covers and not his original stuff, so there was a split in his audience. So there is kind of thing where you need to make centralized like uh, videos. It's kind of like years and years ago, I was a dumb and it was like I'm gonna upload my let's plays and my edited content onto the same channel like a fool. That's why you gotta have like gameplay channel, edited content channel, like split up the audiences. Uh, then we got Maxo, who only posts every three months or so and still gets 4.5 million views. Yep. That is the uh, majesty of... Uh, bu Going forth and uh, keeping the quality good. By keeping the quality up, he really uh, keeps things going. That's primarily the thing, is keeping the content and quality consistent. And then so long as you don't get kidnapped, and so long as you don't, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? We're getting harassed, oh, by, by Templars. But it's like content, quality, like the genre and the quality, keep those things too relatively consistent and then don't spend years between uploads and you should grow virality is decent but not the be all in all in the end it all depends on how much views you get uh by the end of the month three m videos of 20k views each is the same as one video of 60k that wasn't very nice darn the algorithm for being weird listen to that he knows english not for savage he's spirited too why are you I thought you guys didn't want to kidnap we have questions natives. For your elders. Only tell us where your village is, boy, and you can go. Best do as he asks, child. I like how they immediately became super villainous the moment we stopped playing Haytham. And pop. The sad little flame of your life extinguished. You are enough. I have to comment on this more because that is very dumb <laughs> like they're like oh we have to save the slaves and oh we're nice to the natives kill the bulldog moment we stop playing Haytham, they go super villainous bully this native child <laughs> what that's i sure it's been a few years but still it's like the the developers went, oh, they know they're Templars now. We no longer have to pretend that they're decent. A speck of dust. You and all your ilk. Living in the dirt like animals. Oblivious to the true ways of the world. The wiser among you recognize the shape of the future. They throw themselves at our feet and beg mercy. But not you, it seems. No. Just such an asshole all of a sudden. Desperately to your ways. Too ignorant to know your folly. You're monologuing to a dying child. You're so kind, you choked him half to death. That you may carry word to your people. Let them know the sooner we are given what we seek, the sooner you can return to your pathetic, empty lives. A fair trade, is it not? What is your name? <laughs> Charles Lee. Why do you ask? So I can find you. <laughs> so funny. He's like, they know they're Templars. Make them bastards. <laughs> You've seen the FNAF movie? 
I have not, but I have heard that it's most, it's kind of like a Mario movie situation where critics will be overly critical and fans will get a lot out of it. From what I've seen, it definitely looks like probably one of the better, like, FNAF stories. At least it doesn't have Fazgu or a time-traveling ball pit from what I've seen. Fun movie, kind of dumb, but fun. I mean, that's FNAF in a nutshell, isn't it? Tell us where your village is. And then they went and burned the village. Why? <laughs> Critics gave it 25%. Audience gave it 88 Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Yeah! Already, a tragic backstory for the boy. <laughs> but there's a together we are FNAF scene. My brain could just be on fire like this village, but I don't know what that means. Why are we not running? Uh, I guess the game wants me to go through the burning building. Move the debris! Super child! That's not even moving the- That's not even moving the debris! That's going underneath! The fantasies and robots are awesome. That's good. Uh, luckily, the robots were made by the uh, the Jim Henson Monster Factory, I think. So, yeah, the animatronics, at least, are super good. Uh, how do I get around? How did this fire get so big? I destroyed the wall with my mind. Come to me. Got a button mash. Got a button mash. I'm pressing the B button game. I'm pressing the B button game. Move the da thing. I guess I couldn't move it. Either that or the game broke. Especially with the small budget they had. Spring Bonnie looks dope. Yep, from the trailers, Spring Bonnie does look super cool. He's not even... They had to kill the Native American mother. They couldn't just... Nine years later. <laughs> New tools are available. Feathers and trees. This is funny. A uh, really small spoiler. They gave Spring Bonnie way too little screen time, in my opinion. Well, I mean... Eh, it depends on how the movie plays out, but that could be a legitimate criticism. Again, depends on how the stru movie's structured. We have work to do. Clan mother has asked us to gather materials for tonight. Again, I, I kind of respect that they're using so much Native American language, but... Makes it hard to follow just purely from audio. Hold and then run. Oh, to climb. Huh. I need to teach him how to climb. He's not gifted like me. He's like for five minutes in the movie. That is kind of funny. But at the same time... Kind of makes sense. Because you need William Afton to get into Spring Bonnie, presumably. Considering that I know that William Afton is in there, played by the boy. Like Zoink Scoops. I'm the man behind the slaughter. Huh. <laughs> 
I'm trying to read, but the time, well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much the timing on the, the subtitles for this. I don't even know what they're saying properly. Maybe they don't even know what they're saying properly. So that's going to be the bonus objective, get there without, without touching the ground. Yep, do not touch ground or water. Uh, it's more a personal issue, to be honest. It's clear they wanted to adapt FNAF 1 sp uh, specially, and Springtrap isn't really part of that game. They, they only included him because they had to for the sequels. It's a really simple movie like FNAF 1, with only the main cast, uh, to be honest. Golden Freddy is a huge mystery, just like he was in the first game. In my opinion, I don't think it's really about just adapting FNAF 1, because, like, uh, they include so much, like, surrounding it. From what I've seen, I haven't watched it yet, but, like, I know they have Vanessa, they included Abby, and, of course, like, uh, they have William Afton there. And, uh, including Spring Bonnie is... Like, uh, well, including William Afton inevitably going to be spring-locked is important because, like, it incorporates that main conflict of FNAF closer to the main characters. Rather than just being, I'm a security guard and things happen around me, they're, like, involved in it. <laughs> Although that would be kind of funny, it's just like... Hey, I, I'm a security guard, the animatronics are trying to kill me, and I found a corpse in the back room. I don't know what's going on. The director said Scott told her to play FNAF 1 uh, specifically, and Vanessa and Abby are going to be essential to the overall lore. That is one thing that I wonder, because Vanessa appearing so early compared to her Steel Wool era counterpart... Abby, I have no idea. Again, haven't watched the movie. My one hope is that eventually the puppet becomes at least some kind of major presence for the movies. I don't think it appeared at all in the first one, sadness, but maybe the second one. Like, my wish is, like, for the puppet to be, like, a main character, to be there and help the humans, to try and do something, I don't know. But who knows? I don't even know what the plot for, like, the second movie would be, because if I remember correctly, uh... The guy, I forget his name. He plays Shaggy. Uh, he was signed on for three movies. Which does imply that he will appear in the second one as well. Maybe in flashbacks. Flashbacks might be a thing. Alright. Uh, get there without touching the ground. I wonder how much I do have to wait for him. I do like the background music here. <laughs> Please, my legs burn. Does that rock count as ground? Does this count as ground? Help? I save you, man. Uh, the, Scott said some time ago he was planning on a trilogy to adapt the original trilogy. But at the same time, if I remember correctly, Scott went through like a billion different scripts. Like, he made one script that was so, like, finalized, they were about to begin shooting, I think. and Or like, beginning like, uh, like pre-production or something. Then he scrapped it and said, nah. I'm going to make it better. Then there was one that he felt was too, like... I, I forget the exact term, but it was, like, too lore-heavy. Too deep into the lore. And it was, like, it had a lot of things going on, so it wouldn't have been as enjoyable to a, a general audience, so he scrapped it. But, yeah, following the... Like, uh, the original trilogy might probably be good, 
because, like, when it comes to the original six games, there's FNAF 1 through 3, FNAF 4 is kind of off in a corner by itself, then there's Sister Location Pizzeria Simulator, with uh, Sister Location kind of being its own thing, and then Pizza Simulator kind of taking from all but the fourth one. The fourth one is weird and on its own in its corner. Uh, yes, Puppet only shows up in the ending credits. At least it exists! Best animatronic! Uh, you hear her music, and she spells some letters, just like the minigames. Good. Although I don't think this, like, uh, like the S-A-V-E. I don't think that's actually the puppet. I think that's just the minigame. It's not diegetic, is what I think. But the music, the music box, very important. It's only the main cast, really, and most of the Easter eggs are FNAF 1. Uh, stupid little... Didn't it? And old theories. <laughs> Gotta love, like, nods to old theories. Those are fun. Like, oh yeah, I think I heard there was a book referencing the dream theory. Which, <laughs> hilarious. Well, can't have you die. I'm standing... I'm still standing on not at ground. I hope I get the bonus objective just because my brain is completionist. When I see bonus objectives, my brain is like, want to do it. <laughs> what happens if I fall and die? You're so mean. I don't even know your actual name. <laughs> you can tell that he's... He's gonna get shot, isn't he? How did you learn this? Again, how does this not count as ground? Is it because it's a mountain? Uh... How am I climbing that? Okay. I'll get to the feather. Is this, uh, is the eagle gonna throw me off? Ah, do not touch ground or water. I am the victor. It didn't even attack me. What? <laughs> he did the de- <gasps> He's so shocked. But I lived, bitch. Uh, the screen goes black and the puppet spells, Come find me. It's nearly guaranteed we're gonna see her in the sequel. I just wonder what the the puppet's, like, uh, bop -a -bop, like uh, role will be in the sequel. H highly glad that they're focusing on the puppet for the sequel, seemingly. Puppet deserves it. If only because, like, the... The puppet is, it's just probably my bias. The puppet is my favorite animatronic, probably because of a fanfic I wrote, uh, read. My brain is on fire right now, can't talk good. But yeah, I read a fanfic and then just skyrocketed to the top of the list. Puppet, favorite animatronic. But it also is just because, like, the puppet has been a highly recurring character throughout the series, through the meta-narrative of versus Afton and being a protector, they've been there. The fact that the first, like, FNAF books followed her, the Charlie. Actually, that just made me wonder. We never did find out anything about Sammy Emily, did we? He's just like, ah, oh, Sammy Emily, the brother of Charlie Emily. He existed. Maybe he was kidnapped and killed. Or maybe he was taken by uh, Henry Emily's wife because he was going crazy over Charlie's death. And then Henry Emily's wife was like, I'm taking the child and leaving. And that's just it. And uh, I don't know. Even the FNAF books are kind of weird. <laughs> Everything's weird. But we never discovered what happened with Mike's missing brother. So he might be the puppet. Maybe. Uh, that would actually be interesting. 
give a more personal... Ah! my Because here's the thing, again, my bias is coming in, where my brain is like, I want the puppet to be like a main character. A main animatronic character who helps the humans. But, uh, maybe it could just be like... Well, yeah, that would be interesting. Mike trying to find out what happened to his brother, leading to him to discover... His brother living on as a, an animatronic puppet. That could be cool. That could be interesting. But kind of interesting that they didn't explain Golden Freddy yet. Which, hey, <laughs> probably that'll be explained maybe in the third one. Or maybe never. It's FNAF. But this really makes me want to see it. This really makes me want to see it. I, you gotta watch the movie, bro. This definitely is selling me more on the movie. I really do want to watch it now. I already kind of did. I did that on purpose, bitch! No, you did not! I like this poor man. He's just so calm and nice. Like, he's just existing. I like him. He's a poor boy. Head to the market, uh, but I want to grab more. Already you're better than Haytham, because you can fucking climb trees. His stupid British ass never could. Uh, gotta watch the movie, bro. It makes everything clearer. It's on Peacock already. I might look at that. That's kind of. Hmm. I wish that the. There is so much on this goddamn map! Find more feathers. <laughs> what? What's that? Not synced. Eh. Just wanted to look. But yeah, this definitely makes me want to check it out. Hmm. Interesting. Because it says find three, so that must mean that there's more. But I'll definitely check in to see, like, uh, the Peacock one streaming service. Alright, they definitely made it interesting with, like, uh, climbing all the way out of here. He's just having a seizure. Good for him. Uh, and he just ran around that tree. We'll head to the this vantage point and try to see about it. Oh, it's high up there, so we're probably in the wrong place. Or maybe we need to go up this way to get there. Maybe. I wonder if I'm going the wrong way. Or maybe I'm going the right way, game. You scared me, game. But I will definitely seek out means to watch the FNAF movie. Because as somebody who, like, knows a decent amount of FNAF lore... And FNAF theories, I think it would be very interesting to watch. Especially since, like, I know there's a bunch of YouTuber cameos. I know that they didn't get Markiplier because he was filming Iron Lung at the time. Which is a pity. But hey, that just means that they can get Markiplier to uh, show up another time. Maybe have him play Henry Emily or something. That is one thing that I wonder if they're going to bring up Henry Emily. Because if Mike's brother does turn out to be the puppet, maybe they could go Silver Eyes route, but without human robots, maybe? Like, still include Charlie Emily, but... Like, uh... Have her be a deuteragonist, maybe, but without... Uh, this motherfucker! But, like, uh... Oh, maybe I need to sink from out here? Ah, that's where that is. There's, like, so many things you can do. Yo, Neil, what's good, my friend? It's me rambling through the re uh, rebrand game. Ah, hello, hello! Currently, I am playing some... But, but, okay. Don't go that way. Game is angry. Currently, I'm playing some, uh, Assassin's Creed 3. 
and being mildly annoyed at it sometimes. Ah, there's another feather. We're gonna grab that feather. Because I'm doing bonus objectives. And, uh, I'm talking with YouTube chat, or the, uh, yeah, YouTube chat over the, bop, 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 FNAF movie. And how I want to watch it now. Because it seems interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is this? Go away! I don't want to fight you! What the fuck? Mountain lions! What? Oh, what the fuck? I'm being assaulted! I've been knocked off! Leave me alone! What the fuck? I didn't know that there would be monsters up here! Ah! <laughs> uh. Alright then! Sure! Whatever you say! I just wanted to get down from here! And I got attacked by a goddamn mountain lion! <sighs> How do I get off this mountaintop? <laughs> Let's see... Because I was going back to that, well, uh, that one to try and jump back down and then we'll climb that tree, maybe. And then fucking lion, mountain lion, not really a lion cougar. What a fucking... Everything is going crazy. Will this kill me? Almost, but almost is good enough. Uh... I think I'll just climb down, thank you very much. I can't see the, the leaves. Nice that I heal from fall damage. And, uh, cougar attacks, apparently. That was terrifying. <laughs> Gotta say, mildly terrifying. Wild animal attacks that go into quick time events. Really gets your blood pumping. Now, climb this tree, and we'll go to- I said, climb this tree, young man. Steal from the birds. And now we will head back to market. Or marker. We jump through the trees. Also, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't really... Did I telekinetically kill that animal? I did not. But I... But I freaking... How did I do that? I don't have an assassination blade. Okie dokie. I don't think we're meant to leave the body. I think that is mean to the animal. Is it time to go? Well, I guess that, uh... Hmm. I... Apparently that ended that mission. I guess we'll end it there, because we've been going for a long time, with a lot of that time being dedicated to me mucking about back in the Animus room, uh, looking for batteries. I'm gonna have to look up... Uh, like a guide on that to see because it's entirely possible YouTube chat said that it could be broken Which it's entirely possible and could it be? So For my thoughts on this section of the game uh, Haytham being a Templar was kind of an obvious twist because they were so vague on like ah the order He was a brother to me. They didn't specifically say anything and it's just like ever so slightly wonky. I do find it a bit cheating 
that they used assassin symbols for, like, the UI. Oh, but it's the in-universe, uh, b b b animus it's assumed. Silence you. Silencio. But, yeah, it was kind of obvious, and the opening kind of dragged. I feel like they could have condensed it a bit. We didn't need to find and rescue every single, like, conspirator to help us. In many, many missions. Granted, they are kind of like piecemeal tutorialing you. It's like, ah, there's guns. There's this. Uh, but it's not bad. The bad part comes in the bonus objectives and... You know, let's see. The bonus objectives, them changing the combat controls. I wish that they just kept the like some of the original stuff. Because not being able to lock on, as far as I'm aware, is rude. I don't even know if the left trigger does anything. Because, like, there's so many times where I want to lock onto a single dude and be like, I want him to come to me with whistle, only for either somebody else to be whistled at or for the contextual button press of B to do something else. Because everything goes through B now. We can't have things clearly labeled and expected. And uh, kind of on that front, at least the combat so far has been a little wonky because I need to get used to the new combat where countering isn't just holding high uh, high action and then pressing X. No, you have to press B at the right time and then choose your action. And some enemies just kind of no-sell your counter for no reason. And, like, unlike two revelations and Brotherhood, it's not like, ah, they have a lot of health, so you need to counter multiple times. No, they just don't. They refuse. You, they are, They are impossible to counter for some reason. So you need to, like, take their weapon away and beat them up. It's weird. So far, it's not... The only bad thing is probably the no lock-on makes things unreliable with, like, whistling. Uh, one dude respawned on himself when I knocked out his other self. That was weird. Uh, what else? Uh, and, yeah, I do not like what they've done with the bonus objectives. I don't know what the bonus objectives do. We're probably going to find out next time, maybe. But it's very, very rude that they introduce more and more and more bonus objectives and sometimes don't inform you. So you'll be, like, dropped into an action bit and they'll be like, hey, just so you know, you failed a bonus mission because you got shot by a line of fire. And we told you not to do that. And it's like, but you didn't. Ah, but it was the bonus objective. Sure, you can replay memory things, but... Ah, it just feels wonky when it doesn't tell you. It's just amusing because when I'm not in combat, the bonus objectives are always there. And they're like, hey, bonus objective. Find those feathers. And it seems like it's always there when I look. In combat, gone. It's weird. I just feel like they unnecessarily changed some things. And, uh, yeah. Combat's kind of clunky now, probably because I'm not used to it. And, uh, the bonus objectives are being strangled again. I also don't know how to feel about the almanac collectible, because the almanacs fly away. So you need to hunt them down. And it's kind of weird. Uh, we'll have to get back to that at some point. And yeah, it feels like the outside the animus sections in the cave are completely scuffed. Because again, apparently I was supposed to be able to do a thing and it just refused to do a thing. <laughs> I'll look up a guide later to see. In fact, actually, we can maybe leave the animus and see how things go. Let's see. Uh, return to the present. Any unsaved progress will be lost? Eh, who cares? I also find it hilarious that his mother just had, like, a bridge dropped on her. She's dead now. And again, it's it's so unfathomably hilarious that they just went and made it seem like, Ah, yes, the conspirators of Haytham, they're nice. Immediately after they were proven to be Templars, Haha, we are evil, we, we're gonna threaten this child... We're gonna burn down this child's home. It's just... Dumb. <laughs> what the fuck?!
Nope. Seems like it's still scuffed. Maybe I need to turn it on and back on again. Or it could just be fucked because it's the remastered version. Maybe I do want to return to the classic, original... Assassin's Creed 3 and then just do the tyranny of King Washington on this version. Who knows? Well, let's do the received messages. They added a lot. We'll read these and then we'll probably end. Sean is really getting on my nerves. You'd think with everything that's going on, the guy would stop being a douche. Maybe he thinks it's funny. Or maybe it's part of his snarky British charm. Or maybe it's how he deals with stress. Whatever it is, it's getting real old real fast. We've got enough to worry about, you know, into the world and everything. You'd think he'd show a little restraint or maturity or something. Ah, sorry, not like you need to hear me venting. You've got enough on your plate. Please don't say anything to him, though. Huh. Desmond Miles, disappoint, or William. In case you haven't noticed, we're knee-deep in the shit here. I understand this might not be your idea of a good time. It isn't anyone's good idea of a time. Picking fights isn't going to get our work finished any faster. So I suggest you stick to the mission. The sooner we're through the door, the sooner we can get back to our lives. Or in your case, the lack of one. He didn't even capitalize dad. He's mean. William's not the most diplomatic man, I'll give you that, but uh, he cares about you very much. When you were under, during that whole bit with 16, he never left your side. He even slept in the same room when we put you down the night. Anyway, don't mean to be a busybody, just didn't want you to stay sore with him. Not too sore, anyway. The man means well, even if he's got an odd way of showing it. Just a quick heads up that I've pushed a new batch of entries focused on the... How the hell you say that? I'm, I am I do not want to butcher the Native American language. In order to ensure accuracy, I actually turn to a friend on the outside. Don't worry, he thinks it's for a presentation, so we're in no danger of being discovered. You'll find new section under the database labeled Surprise, Surprise. That. It has information on their political and social structures as well as some notes on their material culture. Interesting. Very interesting. But yes, I do believe that that will be that for now. So yeah, this section of the game seems scuffed when it comes to finding batteries and bonus stuff. That's sad, but... Oh well. Unless they really upped the Desmond gameplay things. I doubt that's going to really do too much compared to two Brotherhood and Revelations. There wasn't much there either. Just kind of sad that a piece of the game might just be locked away because the game is stupid. When it comes to the main game, it's hard to tell because we technically haven't gotten to the main game yet. <laughs> we played as Haytham, but that's kind of like an intro prologue. Then we played as uh, the boy. I don't know what his Native American name is, so... I think his name is... His, um, like, English name is Connor. Which is funny. But yeah, this section was basically enter the white savior and his Native American waifu, who we apparently banged once and never saw again. He was n not there for his child, who now lost his mother and will probably lose the rest of his family. His Native American friends that probably took him in from the remnants of the fire. That's probably all going to go be me. But, but, but. Uh, yes, that should be everything. I don't think there's anything else to touch upon. Countering is weird for no reason. The bonus objectives, I wish they just gave them all to me from the start so I could be like, ah, I need to be aware of that. Uh... Again, it's absolutely hilarious that the Templars acted like normal good people until we knew they were Templars. Then they set an innocent village on fire for no reason, unless that's just circumstantial. <laughs> I'm having fun with the game, but I'm also annoyed by the game at the same time from some things. Primarily the game not giving me the hibbledy d outside things. The Desmond level things, because I want to do things. Oh, well. Apparently there's the homestead stuff I get to focus on later. But yeah, I do believe that will be it for now. 
But yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, one Neon Icy Wings, where I put edited and scripted content that I need to make more of. I've scripted a lot of things, but getting to the editing process is hard because brain likes to torture me and be like, oh no, editing, video editing, ah, and like really ramps up like the anxiety on that for some reason. And uh, then there's the Neon Icy Games for streaming content, the streams as videos, and other gaming content that I upload there. So if you want to watch my Mass Effect Trilogy series, or just watch me play games live, that YouTube channel is your go-to. Or if you prefer to watch me live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Other such things, like if you like my little character in the corner, that art is drawn by me. I also upload art to various art websites across the web. Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Blue Sky, Twitter, Inkblot, so many sites now. And uh, to keep track of them, you can find links to all of them and more in my link tree. My link tree can be found through descriptions, bios, link places of all the internet. And its direct link is linktr.ee slash uh, link neonicywings. Also in my link tree is writing that I do, some fanfics and stuff. I'm trying to do original writing, but again, brain. So if you want to enjoy some stories I've written, they are there. And if you want to throw a few dollary dues my way and ease the evils of the world, you can find a link to my Patreon there as well. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.